So you've had an insight into, let's say, we're talking about something, they've had an insight, there's no one here. They've, they've thought about cause and effect. They've realized there's nothing particular in our experience that there's no entity here that can be found. But they recognize there's a rajasic nature to themselves. Rajasic means passionate, active, dynamic, extroverted, usually. Seeking pleasure, seeking experience, excuse me, seeking knowledge. So that seeking energy is still there. Is there a given that when that seeking energy comes again, you see, that seeking energy was built up in the first place around the notion of me. Now the insights there that there's no me, the habitual process, the habitual rajasic process is still there. Extroverting, extroverting, seeking, seeking, seeking preventing the, ass the assimilation and integration of the knowledge that there's no one here. The basic practice, if you're a jasic, you're not very tamasic. Tamasic means negative, negativity, low self-esteem, dullness, sloth. If you're not tamasic, you're very rajasic, but not tamasic, you're not unhappy necessarily. Um, the basic teaching is to be still. Now, my sense for you, particularly events, is that there is some tamasic energy there. So that probably will not be enough for you. The sense I'm getting is that there needs to be some kind of process to root out the tamasic energy, the negativity. So you need an uplifting practice to root out negativity. The roadmap goes from negativity to positivity, to stillness. Negativity down here, to positivity up here, and then to peace and balance, stillness in the middle. If you're up here, then the teaching is to be still. You're reducing the energy level from a high energy state of rajasic energy to peace. When you're down here, you can't go straight to peace because the negative energy just pulls you back. If you're trying to be still, what you end up doing is just being still with negative energy, negative thoughts, negative feelings, and it feels, doesn't feel very good. So you need to lift yourself up first. Positivity. Yeah. So this is the base. The, the basic practice is devotional practice, love, positive, positivity positive affirmations now i know the non-dual community loves positive affirmations don't they have i lost has i have i lost man so where's he gone oh he's gone oh wait a bit oh no, you're, no, he's there you're there you just changed um, position on my screen yeah i know the non-dual community loves um positive affirmations but they can be really helpful depending on how tomastic you are um chanting so this is the time not to follow what it says in a book, not to follow Ramana's teachings, not to follow Tom's teachings. But what do you want to do? Huh? What do you want to do? Do you want to get up, sing, dance? Do you want to go for a run? See, your, your own, you will know what you need. As I said, when it comes to this kind of purification, especially for the road from... Tamas to Rajas, from negativity to positivity, that is the most diverse of, diverse of the spiritual paths. Because when it comes from Rajas to Sattva, peace, it's basically about different ways of becoming still. There are not many ways to be still. Basically, you just be still. I mean, there are a few ways you can do that, but you, know, you can do it when you're walking, you can do it when you're moving, you can do it when you're sitting, but essentially, be still. But the, the, the road from Tamas to Rajas is, this is where you've got all the, this is the rainbow path of spirituality. Loads of different colors, loads of different shades. Yeah. Different shade and color for everyone. And this is why there's so many wonderful different spiritual teachings, mainly for people who are in a Tamasic 
mistakes. Now, I just want to add something. There's no judgment here. We're not judging. It's not good to be, well, it's better to be sattvic than tamasic. But we're not judging if you're tamasic. If you're tamasic, if you're rajasic, that's just where you are. So we work with what we've got. We're all, some people are going to be more tamasic than others. Some people will be more rajasic than others. You can't help that. But your spiritual journey will be different depending on what your personality, what your vastness, what your habits, what your conditioning is like. So I, chanting and devotion is a very good basic practice. It's uplifting. It gives you hope. It takes the negative energy out. So I feel something like that would be a good idea. But have a think about what you'd like to do. What, and you can also, you can also kind of um, distance yourself from it. You can say, what does my body want to do? You see, Because a lot of this is to do with the body. Does the body want to sit still or does it want to run around or do something else? What does the body want to do? So you don't take it so personally. It's just like, what does the body want to do? Ah, it's going to vary from time to time as well. A basic practice is devotion, love, devotion, physical yoga practice, and be still. Basic practice. gratitude as well. Gratitude, gratitude, love, and kindness. These are also the four basic practices. The four main yogas. You know, bhakti yoga is your devotional yoga. Karma yoga is your gratitude in daily life yoga and being accepting of whatever comes your way in daily life yoga. Raja yoga is meditation yoga and hatha yoga. The jnana yoga is the affirmations, I am Brahman. I am that. With insight. 